morning good morning guys I am back with another video I'm so excited with everything that's going on so I guess we've got uh, the spirit of John Lewis and Ruth Bader Ginsburg and Stacey Abrams to thank for Georgia uh, John Lewis's district flipped blue they helped to bring Georgia across the line I think Georgia's at 99 percent um, and he was so awful to John Lewis, I swear. He didn't honor him in his death at all. What kind of person is the president that does that? And then we've got Pennsylvania, 99%. That's gone lean and blue as well. And Nevada's at 84%, and that is lean and blue. So they should just call it now. I mean, for goodness sake, stop playing with our emotions. Um, it's Cancer Moon, though, today. So we're going to be emotional today. Trust that. Um... Yeah, my mother used to say, uh, God don't like ugly. <laughs> that was one of her famous sayings of many. My mother's from Grenada, Mississippi. My father, too. But uh, I'm going to tell you what. No, ma'am, was this election going to walk away from us. We put in so much feminine energy, so much power. Um, I didn't really come on here to read, per se. But I just wanted to come in and touch base with you guys. I miss you guys, but I don't talk to you. And I wanted you to feel as excited as I do. So since I'm feeling so good today, let's pick a angel card. This is going to be an angel card that's going to protect all of us, be with us, and Joe and Kamala as well. They still need our um they still need our energy. They still do. I looked at some of Trump's uh little rally speech whatever last night and it seems as though he would have been a gentleman and concede but he didn't but he went in this whole rant of how votes were suppressed and we were trying to steal the election and uh that we were cheating <laughs> yeah except had it everything went the other way red then um that he wouldn't have gave that speech. And not to mention fi fact, think about this. He's saying all the states that are blue or lean and blue cheated. Then why didn't he say the states that turned red cheated? Because then they could have cheated too, right? Cheating goes both ways. So I noticed he didn't say that. He was just coming after the blue, showing his lack of grace and dignity once again. Nothing new. That's what we expect um, we don't even listen to Trump's speeches at all, but it just so happened that we were up and my husband was up and he, we were just like looking at it, like shaking our head, like, oh, mm -mm, no, what you do in the dark comes to the light, baby. And the light is being shown on you. What's our angel card? What's our angel card for today? Angel card. What's our angel card for today? Like I said, I'm making an angel card for us. Picking an angel card. I'm not making anything, but picking an angel card for us as well as one that's going to cover Joe and Kamala until they finally decide to call him what he is. A winner. Period. All right. We've got um, White Eagle ancestor spears oh the ancestors are here i told you ruth john come on through connect to your lineage a family wound or pattern can be healed now and that's what's going to happen because we are a family um we're more family sometimes than our birth families because this is a, a this is a tribe we have a spiritual tribe here in this channel we have a spiritual family and we are coming together we're healing us We've got the help of Ruth. We've got the help of John. And we're going to put that positive energy back and make America great again. <laughs> I did not mean to say that, but that's the truth. We're going to get it back to a great place. And with White Eagle, let's see if you can see that. There you go. we got to tap into those ancestors and know they are with us and they are supporting us. And they are helping to make this happen. There's a whole, there's a whole work behind us, energetically, universally, that's going on behind us as we speak. And hey, now 
the ancestors. Now the angels can step in because before they couldn't step in. They couldn't step in because angels, guys, they don't help you with anything that you could do yourself. And we had to do this ourselves, and we had to get up and we had to get out and we had to vote. Point blank and simple. So, um, I also, I have my back turned to you guys. I'm so sorry. I also just want to take a quick look and see what's around uh, Trump. He's having some kind of meltdown. I would, I could only imagine he has been propped up by his dad. He's been propped up by the luck of coming from a, a family that gained wealth. And yet he's lost businesses after businesses. He's bankrupt time and time again. Um, you guys know this. If you are if you are in my age range or somewhere in that, you know that he was terrible with business. The best thing he could do was keep a TV show and don't pretend to be uh, the reality president. So is he tripping today? I want to know. Is he melting down in the White House? <laughs> I'm sure. Well, I wonder if Melania has left yet. Is she still trying to stand by his side? Her job is done. This is the uh, the Magi Method cards. My cards I've had forever. I love these little cards. They're quick, short, easy. They're to the point. They tell it like it is. Let me just invoke them. Guys, did you see, there's been so many memes out lately, it's crazy, not even crazy, but there's one with uh, Paula White, I guess she's a pastor, minister, spiritual leader, and she was stomping and beating and chanting, I'm like, Lord have mercy, good grief. I'm looking at him, uh, Trump, like, what, what was around him, what's around him, so I've got past, present, future, maybe I can move this over. That'll help you see a little bit. I told you my daughter stayed longer than what I thought, so it kicked me out of the office because she wanted to do the holidays with us. And I'm glad. I don't have any problem with that. So in the past, he was he was the man. He's got um, the love. He had a lot of love for these people out here and still does. Here we have the Magi card. This is a king of diamonds. It's a man of wealth. But also, notice it's Magi, M-A-J-I, almost like MAGA. And it's in red. Those people love Trump. Why? They thought they were going to get some kind of material things. This is material cup, the cornucopia. They thought that somehow he was going to get more money or wealth into their pocket. That's, that's the past. Not anymore. Now things have changed. Five of cups. Depression. Sadness. Things are not going his way. Things have changed. He's got to sit passively by. There's nothing he can do about it. Even though he's coming in and trying now to flip the script and say that there's cheating in the voting and there's suppression and all that mess. We all know better. Uh -uh. Um, all these different states, him trying to sue, his lawsuits are constantly being thrown out. Uh, yeah. So here he is. He's handcuffed and chained. Handcuffed and chained to money. Handcuff and chain and leave it out of that White House. Yes, he's got to go. He's going to have to go by force. That's the card. It's like they've got to drag him out by force. He's not going to just sit there and accept that de decision. No way. No way. He's going to fight it every way he can. Because um, he loved, this is an ace of cups. It's really about heart, love. He loved the money. Okay? He loved the money that went with that. But, mm-mm. He's got to go. That's his, that's his wife. That's him. Not only is it him, but it's him getting the execution. This is the judgment has been made already. This is the future. The judgment has been made. She's leaving him. He's leaving the White House. The law is coming in. I'm telling you. Can you see that? I always wrote my little meanings on these. I got this a long time ago. This is the execution card. Yes, honey, he is going to be gone. Judgment is cast against him. The law is there. He's depressed. We're almost just standing back watching in amazement how the everything is going to fall down for him. 
and he's going to still try to hold on to a lot of secrets that he's going to have to leave but there's going to be secrets around it. So I don't know if the secrets means where is he secretly going or are they going to secretly try to do something and take this to Supreme Court because he's already laid the foundation. I'm telling you right now, when he loaded that Supreme Court up with Republicans. Um, so we'll see what's going to happen because now Amy says that she's an originalist and she believes in sticking to the Constitution in the way that it was written. Oh, okay. Then you should either recuse yourself or make sure that he gets out of office. Uh, yeah, so there's that. But I don't see anything good for him. I see that in the time people really thought, okay, let's see. He'll do something different. Maybe it'll be better than having politicians in there. Maybe we all kind of felt like that if we want to be honest with self. Maybe that crossed our mind like, uh, maybe. It could be. It could have been. But not anymore. I see the change has come. I see him, um, the decision has been made. It has to force him out. I see him leaving. I see his wife leaving him. I see the law is right on him. It won't be long. The, the law will be on him. At least he will be in court for a very long time fighting cases that are still pending. And one more really quick if you guys will indulge me i want to know about bar what happens to bill bar now what what happens to him he's he's destroyed any legacy that he could possibly have um i think he's in hiding or ducking and diving the last time i saw him it was a days i think it might have been election day and he said he was going to lunch and have him a steak sandwich i'm like oh can your heart stand that i don't know <laughs> I don't think you should. Maybe have a salad. You know, whatever. Anyways, you know me. I got to be silly. But what's going to happen with Bill Barr? What's going to happen with Bill Barr? He has a lot to answer to as well. He got so caught up and so thirsty with power. Power is as addictive as any uh, prescription drug, alcohol, sex, Food is just as addictive, and you get a good taste of that, and you don't want to let that go. We know he's gone. That, that's without question. But what's going to happen to him now? He's played Donald Trump's personal attorney when he was supposed to be the attorney for all of us. So what is going to happen around Barr? What's going to happen around Bill Barr? Ooh, okay, you are tired. Okay, so looking just at him, um, karma, that's the cross, cross the bear. Karma is on him. Karma is on him because he never stood up on his own two feet. I've never seen a man more weaker in all my life, okay? He didn't stand up on his own two feet. Uh, he carried Trump's burdens. He carried Trump's dirty laundry. Um, so that gives him karma. Karma is coming to him like I don't know what. And then I have the coffin. That tells me that um, he's either going to get very ill mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Um, yeah, watch out for that one. He's not going to do well after this. You know, uh, when you're when you are a, a very obese and you're under a lot of stress and a lot of pressure and you have a lot of burdens. You remember when Jesus carried the, the cross yeah, that's him, and that can cause you to get very ill, if not worse. Um, life for him, again, is going to continue to be a lot of burdens. He's going to try to get away. He's going to try to travel, but no, he's got the same thing, the executioner. He's done. He will be caught up in legal cases from here to who knows what. He's done. Judgment has come upon him. Karma hit him. Judgment is on him. He shouldn't have carried the burdens. If he knew that Trump was having him do things that he should have not done, he could have quit. <laughs> like everybody else did. He could have quit. But no, he got addicted to the power. And now karma, 
That's this card. Karma has come to hit him. Um, judgment Day is there for him. Again, another person that's going to receive execution. He's going to receive execution and I think even a sentence with that. Yeah. Yeah, everything he's done is going to come out into the light. Everything is going to change for him. He can't do anything but sit and take it and nothing but the sunlight is shown on everything that he's done. It's funny that he and Trump have at least two of the same cards. One where they are both suffering the execution. Um, the uh, the law is coming for them. Um, they could be incarcerated as well as they can't do anything about it. The passive card, the number five, fence sitter, passive, sitting there just dealing with it as it comes. Dealing with it. In and out of court, in and out of court. What a lovely way to spend the rest of your days. I don't know. Not for me. But guys, if you like the channel, subscribe. Thumbs up. Leave a comment. What do you think is going to happen to them? And aren't you just ecstatic about the news today? Today is Friday. And it's just a marvelous day. I love you guys. Have a great day.